Queen Carberry. I'm a proud Aboriginal woman of the Wurundjeri tribe who are prominent in this region. I would like to pay my respects to Elders, past and present. I have strong connection to my culture. One of my most proudest moments was winning an award in Parliament for my painting name, My Little Ganya. I've been sharing my skills in community and working at Art Central teaching my culture which connects us all spiritually to my ancestors' land and waters. I work in disability support, other things I teach art in Maria and Dow Mini, which I enjoy very much. I wish to welcome you all to country. Welcome. I wish everyone all the best in the running for the best, best settlers art prize. Thank you. Wow, what an incredible night for arts in Yurubadala. It is just, yay! <laughs> and it's amazing to look out and see so many creative and inspirational people here tonight. And thank you so much for coming and join us, joining us on this incredible night for arts in Yurubadala. I'd like to start off by acknowledging the traditional custodians on the land which we are gathered. Um, and pay my respects to elders past and present and elders of the future. Standing here this evening in this incredibly beautiful facility, we can all admire this amazing building, the fit out and the expansion, but it is absolutely worth taking a moment to reflect on what this will mean to our community. And it will be the people, it will be the artists, it will be our community that will make this place truly sing and truly spectacular. Here we have the region's first purpose-built exhibition centre. 
It is a beautifully a beautiful addition and renovation and extension to our existing library. We have making spaces and meeting spaces still to come. We have room to dream big, innovate, reflect and to show off. A place from which we can spark conversations, provoke thoughts, encourage ideas and to come together and tell and share our stories. This is a place that will feed our whole shire's creativity. The Maria Library and Arts Centre truly is an exceptional facility for the future of our community. In bringing this facility to life, there are so many people that we need to acknowledge and that must be thanked. 70% of the funds for this building have come from grants and philanthropic support. There are two openings that we share tonight, the opening of the incredible building and also the opening of the Basil Sellers Arts Prize. There are three equally important people that we gratefully acknowledge for funding this excellent project. Mr Andrew Constance and the New South Wales Government through both the State Libraries Grant, the Regional Growth, Stronger Country Communities Fund, and Anne Sudmalas, and the Commonwealth Government through their National Stronger Regions Fund. And of course, the incredible Mr. Basil Sellers AM for your extreme generosity and your donations towards this wonderful project. I need to take a moment to acknowledge just how extraordinary it is to have the support of somebody like Mr Basil Sellers. Mr Basil Sellers has given something to our community that we are incredibly grateful for. Not only has Mr Sellers given us an incredible generous donation towards the build and fit out of our lovely gallery space, but he has also provided the prize money and administrative funds for the significant biennial art prize that Council has the privilege of coordinating since 2004. Beyond the obvious benefits of the contribution to the Exhibition Centre and the hosting of the prize, the extended benefits to our arts community and creative industries are beyond measure. We offer our extreme heartfelt thanks to you, Mr Sellers, and from this day forward, a piece of your heart shall, shall forever be in the heart of Yurubadala and its incredible arts community. We are so very grateful. It is absolutely fitting that the first exhibition in our gallery is the Basil Sellers Arts Prize and that the space be named for our generous benefactor, Mr Basil Sellers. This space will affectionately be known forever after as the Baz. Thanks, Liz. Uh, I would now like to invite Anne Sudmalis to come and also say uh, some wonderful words. Thank you, Anne. <laughs> there we go, an expectation for starters. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. And I remember coming on this site with uh, Conrad and I think Carl. And if you look really carefully at the inside of this building, there's not very many 90 degree angles. Is that right? It was one of the most difficult designs that they had to put together and that he was at quite pains to tell me why it was so important to get it together. So when you're in there and have a look, just remember there's some amazing skill that has gone into putting this place together. And to the Gunyas who've probably gone now, Thank you for being part of the opening and for the purification service and ceremony that goes before any such event in honouring the land on which we are now walking, for which they've been guardians for thousands and thousands of years, and having just finished a parliamentary inquiry into Indigenous art and lots of fake stuff running around. My education about Indigenous art and the whole meaning and cultural connection of it has been exploded beyond belief. 
I hope that your cultural connection to the Yoruba Dala is exploded beyond belief in this building. It has been an absolute pleasure to take over from the work of Dr. Peter Hendy from his time here, and it'll be lovely for me to be in the middle. I think there'll be somebody else who finally cuts a ribbon here, but nevertheless, I've loved working with Yoruba Dala Council on this whole project and a number of others. You are a fabulous community to work for. I've enjoyed every second of it, and thank you so very much. Enjoy this one. Thanks very much, Nancy. They were wonderful words. I now would like to invite the Honourable Andrew Constance, member for Bega, to come and also say a few words. Uh, well, good day, good day, everybody. And uh, can I start by acknowledging country and pay my respects to elders, both past and present. And in doing so, can I also just echo what Anne said? I mean, our cultural significance in our region in particular, particularly with the Gadu people in terms of the saltwater people, is something which is incredibly special. And it, it starts with the river. And there is no doubt in the knowledge that we have this incredible community asset. Put aside the taxpayer dollars that have gone in. Think about the way in which our community is going to be able to rally behind this incredible facility. And at its heart is, of course, the generosity of Basil Sellers, who for many years now has supported our community in a way that I think in some cases people just don't know what an enormous contribution Basil has made. So, Basil, thank you for your contribution. Can I also thank the Council? Um, there's been some interesting moments where the Council's had some debates over in the Chamber, yet the staff have gone and done this incredible job with the library. And I particularly want to thank those staff, and I particularly want to thank the councillors, starting with Liz, who is without doubt one of the greatest advocates you could have in your region to get what is significant dollars in here. We've got close to half a billion being spent in the Shire at the moment, uh, which is absolutely phenomenal. And we've never seen that. But we can't just talk about building roads, pools and hospitals. We've actually got to talk about our cultural assets as well, and that's what tonight's all about. So congratulations to the council, congratulations to the community, and without doubt, what is going to transpire through these facilities now into the future is something which is incredibly special to everyone. So congratulations. Now, we come to the part of the evening which we have all been waiting for, the announcement of the winners of the Basil Sellers Art Prize of $20,000 the Yoruba Della Prize of $5,000 and the official opening of the building. So we will begin with the Yoruba Della Acquisitive Prize. This prize winner has been chosen from the current exhibition and awarded to a Yoruba Della Artist of Excellence. The work will be acquired by Council and form part of our permanent collection. So I would ask the Mayor to come and announce the winner. Thanks for coming up with me, Basil. And um, wow, this is a pretty um, a, a great honour for me to be able to announce the winner of uh, the Yerubadala Acquisitive Prize for five thousand dollars goes to Stephanie McClory with her work. <laughs> Some days are rough. Come on up, Stephanie. to hand over to Mr. Sellers AM to announce the winner and to also say a few words. I'll just move the microphone up by about two seconds. The winner of the uh, 2019 Basil Sellers Art Prize is Anne Nguyen. Nguyen. Anne Nguyen. Anne is one of 
for her work called a jamboree. Morning. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.